It is official, everyone. The fences are down, and you can finally walk on the new section of the Wildwood Boardwalk. And by new, I know you guys have a lot of questions because it looks like the old boardwalk. I'll go ahead and explain for you. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Yes, I know it's super windy right now, but um, we're gonna go ahead and start our tour off here on Oak Avenue. And it is such a beautiful day today. We actually got woken up this morning with a message that the fences would be coming down. And so there's a lot of people out here. Like I mentioned before, it is quite a windy day, so I apologize if my microphone is just a little bit off. But one question a lot of people have been asking me today is, Joey, you said that the boardwalk's open and it's new. Um, why don't I notice anything? It doesn't really look brand new. It looks like the same exact stuff. So let's just take a step back for a second. The sections we're seeing today are, are phases three, four, and five, and pretty much go all the way up to the Boardwalk Mall. These three sections are very different than those sections over there. This phase here, this boardwalk we're walking on, is or was one of the newest sections. And so when they were deciding to redo these sections, they said, well, this one's still kind of somewhat new, but we still need you to go underneath, check out the supports, make sure everything looks good. If anything needs to be replaced, you replace it and then put the same boarding on top. And so that's what they did. They removed all of these boards, this side of the boardwalk first, then that side. They looked and inspect every beam. They fixed any damage. They replaced some pieces and some giant holes were replaced. And then they put the same boarding right on top. But that's only for this section of the boardwalk. The other sections were quite different. Going to the Cedar Connection, that was ripped down all the way down to the sand. New foundations were added on. Then, of course, they put supports. They added on all the different kind of boards. And then that's that section. And of course, the top layer looks a little bit different over there because we don't have the tram car. And then the other phase, which is from Skellinger Avenue South, that was done exactly like phases one and two. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around for you and show you what we have. As you can tell here at this section, it doesn't look like anything was changed, but it was. This was all taken up, fixed, replaced underneath of it, and then good to go. There were some pieces though that were replaced. You can see this one right here is brand new. And you'll see that in different sections of the boardwalk. Again, right here. And as you continue over, you can see even more sections, some here, some there. And that goes all the way to Skellinger Avenue. And as I mentioned before, there was a giant hole they had to fix. There was a lot that was actually dry rot. And so they had to remove it. And that was this section right here. And we showed you that actually this past week in that one drone photo. This whole crater was wide open as they had to replace those massive beams. They almost looked like four by eight. I mean, they were thick. And now this is what it looks like. They replaced some of the pieces you can see right here in the middle and some other pieces they're able to put the original ones back on. But it looks so good. But now we're heading over here to the Cedar Avenue connector. And as you could tell, it's not open to the public yet. They are still working on this section. If you remember, they have an archway they still have to build at the end. If they add in lights, they have to add in a few other things but this section looks great. Looking down, you can really see, whew, it looks fantastic. And you will notice that the wood direction is also different. Before it was just going north to south, now it's angled. See, angle that way, the angle that way, and then angled back down. Sort of like what you see on the boardwalk where the tram cars are at this section right over here. Now we're gonna continue down the boardwalk. Manor's Arcade's actually open today. A lot of people are here because it is spring break. Happy almost Easter, by the way. We'll have to do another video on Manor's Arcade because a lot have changed inside of there. But right now, let's make our way down the boardwalk. And you'll see that Maurice has, looks like they have one of the games, a few of the games open. Pretty nice, and, ooh, the pier is open. They have a new Maurice Pier sign. Oh yeah, we have to uh, come back for this uh, in a later video. Because they're not even done installing it yet. All right, anyway continue down the boardwalk. As you could tell, it is the same wood. They just picked it up, fixed underneath of it, and then put this right on top. 
And now we're getting into a different section of the boardwalk, which they also fixed up. You can see how it changes just a little bit in front of us. And look how beautiful this wood looks, right? This whole section you can finally walk on. They're not done yet. They still have the bike racks they have to put up. This station actually used to sit oh, a little bit more this way, but if you notice something here, there is no ramp down to the bathrooms. They do have steps over there, so I'm assuming they're gonna go back. But looking over here, you can see they're building in a brand new ramp. So this might be, we don't know yet, the official new way to get down to the bathrooms. But while we're over here, you can see they also added new wood to the information station. And we have a brand new sign. Look at that. And I know you can't really tell, but inside they also painted. They put new countertops. It looks beautiful in there. As we walk down, you can see that these are all new railings that they installed. They brought back the other benches, because if you remember, these are all in different people's memories. And shops are getting ready to open up down here. Some of them are open already. But this is that new ramp. You can see how big it is. Funny thing is in a few months, right over here, Barefoot Country Music Festival. Get your tickets now. But we're gonna continue down. And a lot of people are asking, are there any new places coming on the boardwalk? There are. Don't worry, that video is coming soon. We're gonna walk all the way down to the Boardwalk Mall. Honestly, I can't get over how great this boardwalk looks. It looks so gorgeous. This is, this is now at Lincoln Avenue. And a lot of people asking about the Ferris wheel. No, the gondolas aren't on yet. They're still working on it though. But we're gonna continue down the boardwalk. You can see this whole, actually, shopping center looks open. Arcades, Gemini. Everyone but except for like the last two, actually the last, only two of them are not open. But look how awesome this boardwalk looks. A lot of people have been asking me about these little boxes here. What are these for? You see these little boxes? I honestly have no idea. I should probably reach out to them and ask them. Because there's a couple of them up here. And once again, I have no idea what they're for. While we're here, of course, we have to talk about the Bullock Mall, which by the way, look at that sign, right? It is gorgeous. We were here the day they were installing it. That looks so cool. And it almost looks like they're gonna add another sign. You can see, unless that's just them maybe using that for, uh, I don't know, maybe to help install that other sign. But the Honky Tonk, a lot of people are confused. It's gonna be down there. So you'll be able to enter through here, go downstairs and enter in through the building, or you can enter on the street. And remember, right here, that's going to be the Tiki Bar. A lot going on right in this one section. And here's another one of these boxes. I think lights are going here. Like they're, they're down down, but I, don't, I have no idea. That is quite interesting. But we're back on the boardwalk and you can see this is the end of the new boardwalk coming up. It looks good and it's got that like uh, new car smell, if you, if you get what I'm trying to say here. And now we're at the end right here. It's Spicer Avenue. So those are phases three, four, and five. Phases six has not been officially announced yet, but we know that with the governor passing that new boardwalk law, well, technically it's more than boardwalks, but the funding for that, we know that something is going to be coming in the future. We just don't know exactly when it's gonna start more than likely in November, this upcoming November. All that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey, as always, I'll see you on the beach, which is a little wet. They're doing Easter eggs up here, not this section, but down there. And they had to bring in a lot of sand just to kind of make it a little bit drier because um, 
not really fun looking for Easter eggs in salty water and on a muddy beach. So anyway, I'm Joey. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Go get that shirt I picked up.